What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Brad Brain. Before this video starts, I just want to say that October 25th to the 26th, I'm going to be at Lime Rock Speedway in Connecticut for Miata Con. I'm going to be bringing my Forge Turbo Miata as well as two others, and I hope to see you there. If you're anywhere in the Connecticut area, let me know. Write down in the comments. I'll meet up with you and we'll have a great time. On to the video. Okay, now that we're on to the video, I can say that that intro took me like 30 attempts to do. I kicked that door so many times. There's so many boot marks on that door. But anyway, uh, let's get into this current video where I'm working on the Volkswagen. We're gonna see what's wrong with it. And when I say there's a lot wrong with it, I mean it, there is a lot wrong with it. It doesn't hold coolant. This vacuum pump is wrecked. There is only one stud holding on the turbo. This is disconnected. This is floppy. The battery isn't the right one for this car. The entire car is spray painted and it's chipping. The exhaust acts as a trampoline. This door absolutely sucks to close. The hood popper is currently a hammer. That entire side of the door is missing. And there's a condom wrapper from the previous owner that I don't want to touch. Why is there a brand new oil filter in here? I have no idea, but that kind of concerns me. These stickers have got to go. There's currently one bolt holding in my entire CV axle. Okay, I found out the stereo kind of rips. <laughs> I could do this all day. It's just so loud. I just want to check. There's two main things I want to do in this video. I want to one, check if it holds coolant, and two, check the oil. That'll determine if I have a blown head gasket or not. Now I've got two conflicting pieces of information. One's telling me that the head gasket is blown, the other is not. The main reason why I think it's blown is because of this sludge right here. Um, that looks like coolant mixed with oil, or at least uh, moisture mixed with oil. And if you look down inside of there, you can see the sludge all down there. That's just a whole mass of disgusting solidified liquid. So I'm not sure how, uh, how blown that is or not. Now the reason why I don't think it's blown at the same time is because of my oil. You can see on the dipstick, it just looks like regular oil. It's not milky by any means, I don't think. Maybe a little bit but it just looks like regular oil. I mean, I'll have to drain the oil to figure it out. Now that the car's lifted up, I can check the oil. So after draining the oil and letting it sit, survey says we do not have a blown head gasket. That is some non-milky, non-cloudy oil. So we are good. Now that I know the head gasket's not blown, I just need to fill up the radiator and coolant system and see if it holds it. I'm just gonna do that with fresh water. Um, you should usually use distilled water with coolant, but uh, I'm gonna flush it anyway and not let it sit in there so it will not freeze, so we're good. All right, time to fill this sucker up and check for leaks. Yeah, I already hear it dripping out. Where from? Oh boy. Looks like it's right under the intake. Yeah, it's right down in there. After a little bit of Googling, I guess the water pump is down there and that might be where it's leaking from. If it's under the intake, it's likely the, the water pump, um, which means I have to take apart all of this in front of the engine and uh, get to that water pump. But maybe it's just a line going to it. I'm hoping if not, it's the entire water pump, but whatever, we'll, we'll figure it out. So after looking over basically everything about the car inside and out, I've made a list and I've checked it twice. That list includes some rotors, exhaust studs, water pump, high pressure fuel pump connector, battery, paint, door trim, and CV axle bolts. So all things considered, for a $400 car, I don't need much to fix this. So that will be the end of today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Please leave it a like if you liked the video. Subscribe if you're new. Uh, next video, I will be working on that thing, the Miata, getting it ready for, uh, for Col or not Colorado, Connecticut. So uh, I will be going to MiataCon. I hope to see you there. Please pick up your merch at RevRain.com. I got some cool designs on there. And I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video.